What's up guys, Graham here. We just hit the 500 subscriber milestone, so I thought I'd make a little bit different of a video. And if I sound a little bit deep voiced and stuff, I, I just woke up, so I thought it'd be cool to make an appreciation video to you guys and change it up a little bit to where you guys can get to know me a little bit better. Uh, some real life stuff about me. So, my real life name is Daryl. And of course, I go by the gamer tag of Grim. Uh, I live in Southeast Missouri in the USA if you're a foreigner. Um, I have a girlfriend that lives with me and a little girl. I have a uh, I have a daughter that's three years old right now and she's absolutely adorable. Come sit on my lap. Oh. Say hi to the camera there. Say hi Lo. Hi Lo. <laughs> There's apparently 500 people watching you at any given time right now. What do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell everybody bye. Bye. Okay. So what I do for a living. Well, it requires a little bit of a backstory to put into perspective. Um, the most relevant thing that I could start at is that I used to work at a factory job. And I worked there for about seven years. And... I accumulated enough money from that job to where uh, I decided to open my own comic book and gaming store and it wasn't really video games although we wanted to get to that eventually it was more of tabletop gaming such as Warhammer and stuff like that and also uh, Magic the Gathering the card games and stuff like that so we did pretty well at the business I mean uh, it paid the bills and then uh, paid my bills at home and a little bit extra so it was a decent job um, it was by no means a way to get rich so after uh, running the gaming store for about two years I realized that I spent too much time there whenever I I'm the type of person, if I own my own business, I'm going to try to commit as much to it as possible to the success of the place. So, I was there all the time. I was all the time working on stuff, uh, doing online sales, uh, shipping stuff off. It was just almost like a never-ending process. And here I had my... Uh, my young daughter and I wasn't spending any time with her really so I decided to sell that business and uh, I sold it to some good people and uh, there's some good owners running it right now and doing a very good job of it and uh, what I decided to do with the money that I got from the sale and previous money and stuff like that and I'd already started getting into this next business anyway before then was rental properties I was uh, buying properties and then fixing them up and renting them out and that's what I do now I, I have uh, uh, some rental properties and I rent them out to people the thing is is it it allows me to stay home with uh, my daughter and family and stuff like that and it also allows me to play video games and entertain you guys but I don't really consider that my job because I don't do too much with that uh, people kinda just rent their properties and don't say much I mean unless they have problems so what I consider my real job is making videos for you guys um, I know a lot of these guys churn out like four videos a day and stuff like that a lot of times because what they do is they do a war front or a, a dungeon or something like that where they basically record from the beginning to the end and nothing else. So for me, I do a lot of editing with my videos a lot of times. 
So if you see a video that looks like I've done a decent amount of editing to, I'm not super experienced and I didn't do this as a profession. So a lot of times I have to wing it as I'm doing it, but I'm doing all that editing and a lot of times these videos will take me upwards of seven or eight hours. So that's a lot of time spent on a job that doesn't pay anything really. Because, uh, see for me, the rental properties and stuff, they're enough to pay the bills and that's about it. So I don't have a lot of extra money to, you know. I've been using this 780p uh, webcam ever since I first started. And, you know, I like to upgrade the gear and stuff, but, you know just ain't happening um, a lot of the other professional gamers that you see and stuff they they can do it for uh, a real living as in getting paid because if you go to like the live streams where people uh, live stream their gameplay on twitch and stuff like that they uh, they get donations all the time and uh, the donations man they're in thousands of dollars a day for some of these guys and uh, there's even uh, videos of people getting uh, $50,000 and stuff from one guy over the course of a month. You know, donations like that, which is insane. But they're able to make the gaming as a viable paying job. But, and that's what I'm shooting for to eventually get to is to where, you know, uh, the gaming channel will pay at least a little bit of the bills. Uh, if not, hopefully allow me to upgrade some stuff. So, uh, but I figured I'll go ahead and show you guys my setup uh, for the most part. Um, I'm not going to pan the camera around because it's, I got, you know, messy environment here. I haven't cleaned it up today. So, uh, the, the keypad that I use is a Nostromo powered by Razer and uh, as you can see uh, let me try to get a good angle here I basically have my hand on it like this and I hit the keys blah 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 like this and this is where I uh, usually all my main attacks is in the main row there then I'll have CC's all up here in a row first one will always be interrupt uh, usually like a snare or something and a disarm or something there and then usually I have something uh, a fourth one that you know it differs so much between the classes so it, it's it's never the same on that one so uh, yeah I really love the keypad you guys ought to try it out if you have never had one and I'm thinking at uh, once I hit a thousand subscribers, uh, I think I might give away one of these because I've got a spare one. So, uh, the mouse that I use, the mouse that I use is, uh, it's a Razer, it's called a Razer Naga, but it's different than the regular Razer Naga because this is like the hex edition of the uh, Razer mouse but this one is still just called the Razer Naga for some reason and it's a Wraith edition so it's red but usually they call this mouse the hex because of the button formations and everything but uh, this one isn't called that this one uh, actually falls under the Razer Naga category even though it has the hex buttons but with me having so many buttons on my my keypad I really didn't need the 12 buttons of a Razer Naga which I did have that before and I, it was just a lot of wasted buttons for me because I had so many buttons on the keypad I didn't need so many buttons on my mouse so uh, it's got the two additional buttons there it's got the scroll which also is a button and then it's got the six buttons on the side now as for my headset I use the Razer Kikarius which uh, has the big uh, comfortable ear ear places here so uh, and this is another Razer product I basically decked my whole setup out in Razer 
So uh, the mic is pretty decent. Uh, it seems like some other people have more success out of the mic than I did. I thought that the audio quality out of the mic wasn't good enough for videos. So uh, usually I use the mic off of the camera that I'm recording with right now. So yeah, it's very good headset for most things. I think that the quality of the mic might be a little bit inferior though. And that's one of the reasons why I have this microphone. Now, whenever I was live streaming, quality was absolutely paramount. Uh, it was always about how I sounded on there. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't get any other mic to make me sound good on live stream. So I bought this. And this is a bit expensive. It's a Blue Yeti mic. And uh, yeah. And now I rarely use it since I don't live stream. Because uh, it's super sensitive. It is very good for picking up everything that you want to pick up. The problem is, is that uh, I haven't found a good place to put it to where it doesn't kick, uh, pick up the mouse clicks and stuff like that. Uh, whenever I'm gaming, I generally spam keys because uh, real good raiders and stuff like that that usually spam uh, buttons because it does apt it does optimize your DPS, and uh, I can show you guys a video proven that at any time but um, I do it in PvP as well because I do not want there to be any lag at all between my attacks I do not want there to be any reactionary time I want the attacks to hit you immediately once the last cooldown is over so yeah but this microphone is really really good I just you know I don't have the extra funds to buy a nice stand in order to put it up to where it will just pick up my voice rather than uh, picking up all my key sounds and all that stuff because I spam keys. I, I, I hit the buttons on my keypad like crazy and I really get into PvP and stuff so I don't want this picking up all that spamming that I'm doing because it it'll sound like you know real loud sounds so uh yeah but this is a really good mic and if i ever get a good stand for it i'll i'll start using it again because it won't pick up all the bad stuff and i do have a i do have a, a pop filter for it it just fell off because i didn't have it on there very good but it could easily be reattached. Um, what else do I got here? I got really a, a bad keyboard. It's just a, an old Dell keyboard and I need to get a better one but really I don't use the keyboard too much. The only thing I use keyboard for is chatting uh, as in uh, typing in the chat if I want to join a group or something and I don't ever like use the key keyboard to do any of my combat or anything like that so I use the keypad for it the, the Razer keypad so that's basically my setup and I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit about me and enjoyed this uh, for once I did a real life uh, video so yeah, if you guys ever want to support the gaming stuff, I put uh, a donation link into the description below. So if you ever want to, you know, help out my setup, as in, uh, you know, try to support this thing that I have going, you know, feel free to throw a dollar or something in there and hopefully eventually it'll add up to where I can get a, a 1080p webcam or a... Uh, uh, a stand for the blue yeti mic or something like that but oh I forgot to mention the green screen green screen uh, it is basically just a huge thick sheet and or just cloth I guess you'd say not really a sheet it's just a cloth 
because I bought it off of Amazon and it was uh, I think it's like 10 foot by 6 foot something like that or 8 foot by 6 foot something like that and uh, I got it stretching all the way down because I planned on making videos to where uh, I would have a mic over there well uh, uh, a camera and uh, have a, like a tripod and stuff and then facing the wall and then I could do if you watch my earliest videos you see I'm standing up and uh, you know talking to you guys instead of sitting in this lazy boy chair and uh, I, I was wanting to do a lot of stand-up commentary you know at the beginning of videos and stuff like that but it became so much of a problem to move this webcam mic uh, webcam all the way over there and try to put extensions on it and then try to get it set up and I didn't have a, a good setup so I was actually putting like chairs on top of chairs and trying to put the webcam up there and then I'd stand back and it wouldn't look right and I was trying to weigh it down with my phone and stuff like that and it was just such a bad process man I I just need the real I need a right setup put it that way but uh, yeah and the chair that I got is just a uh, an old lazy boy I bought off of somebody used and I put sliding coasters underneath it so I can slide this big old chair back and forth and if I'm gaming for a lot of hours I want to be as comfortable as possible so okay guys uh, I know this is going to be a long video but my first real life video and I had a lot of stuff to tell you guys so like I said if you want to support the channel throw a dollar my way donation link is in the description below and uh, yeah uh, who knows if I get enough of the dollar donations I'll start live streaming again so thank you everybody that helped me hit 500 subscribers and hopefully a thousand is just right around the corner and we'll do a nice giveaway at a thousand so if you guys like the real life videos and stuff like this be sure to hit the like button to let me know uh, that's a good indication on which videos you guys like so it's it's a good way for me to realize what I need to make in the future so I'll see you guys next time I guess as usual my name is Graham and I'll see you tomorrow